What's up guys and welcome to your um, 14th I suppose C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. Um, today's subject is going to be split up in uh, two parts and the subject of the day is uh, enumerations and I've chosen to split, this up, to split this up in two parts because or else the video will get too long because you know YouTube only gives you 10 minutes. So I'm um, creating a new source file type in the required information and now we can actually start creating our enumeration the way to do this is type e n u m enum and we're going to call this enumeration languages you make two of these um, brackets right here for opening, opening and closing uh, this enum, and also a semicolon to finally break off the enumeration. And um, we are gonna have English and um, Danish. That's the language I usually speak. Um, then we got German and Spanish. Okay, so now you actually created an enumeration, and in enums you can kind of like you know create your own um, variables without having a data type to them. You know the data type of this uh, of these uh, languages English, Danish, German, Spanish are all uh, are all um, enums. You know it doesn't have an in value or anything. So yeah, now you go down here into your engine engine now type um C out English and, and now you copy this again and again we got One, two, three, four languages. Now, down here you type. God damn it. Like that. Now I type Danish down here. And you change this from English to Danish. Now change this from English to German. And of course, change this English to German too. Now type Spanish and Spanish here. Now we hit F9 to compile and run it. Now desktop and we put it in our C++ applications folder where this is going to be saved as um, enum uh, 1. And now, as you see, it says 0, English, 1, Danish, 2, German, 3, Spanish. And do you have any idea why it says that? Um, that's because that, you know, in my um, third, I suppose, uh, tutorial, I learned you something about arrays. And uh, enumerations work kind of like, uh, like arrays, so if you can't remember uh, arrays or haven't even watched the tutorial yet, then uh, you can uh, go back to my third tutorial and watch that one. Um, I told you in my third tutorial that um, arrays, uh, every single um, e integer or string or whatever data type you got in your array has an uh, element number. And that's the same thing with the enumerations. And again, the computer starts to count at zero, as I also uh, learned you in um, arrays. So the first enumeration in this collection right here, languages in this collection of um, enumerations, which is called languages. Then the first enumeration, English, is the zero, uh, is the first element. You know, the zeroth element. This one is the first element. This one is the second element, and this one is the third element. So that's why it says zero, one, two, and three. Because then down here it replaces. Then it takes English, and then it takes the um, the value 
of, of English and the value is you know the element number and this is and this element number is zero this one is one this one's two this one's three so that's why it says one two three four and then of course it just prints out the string English Danish German and Spanish but um, even though oops, even though uh, enumerations has the uh, the data type uh, enum, you can still apply uh, values to it. So now, what if you change the value of English to ten and hit F9 to compile and run it? Now it says ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So you know now it starts at ten because ten is the first element now. In the array, and then it just goes on one, uh, no eleven, which is now one, twelve, which is now two, and thirteen, which is uh, now three. But now, what if you change this to um, ten, this to two, this to one, and this to five? Try and hit if nine again. Now, what will happen? Now, let's say ten, two. 1 and 5 because now when you assign values to all of them they just take the value of each other then just take the value one the blip the values one by one so um that's the first part of the uh, enumerations right here and uh, next time I'll um, get more into the um, the quality of um, arrays and um, enumerations and we'll make a nice application out of it so um, that's that for this tutorial and um, yep I'll see you in my next tutorial which will be on enumerations again so uh, yep see you